Hi guys, it's Morgan McMichaels. And it is me, Mayhem Miller. And we are here on the set of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. So I'm super, super excited because this is our first time on uh, WOW Presents together. Oh, yes! And we're still watching RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star Season 4, but <laughs> it's season 11 time. Ooh. And I'm excited because the theme for uh, RuPaul's Drag Race Season 11 is... Oh, go wig. Or go home. <laughs> so you've actually been through this before a couple times now. And so have you, finally. Finally. <laughs> finally, we can say that Mayhem has been on RuPaul's Drag Race. Uh, yes. After all these years. Yes, oh my goodness. So we know what it's like to have that first kind of worldwide exposure with this. Y so You have to be prepared that the world is about to see you for the first time. And also be prepared to be ripped apart because they will take your soul and crush all your dreams in just one comment. And that's just fashion photo review. <laughs> so, sorry you didn't get Raja and Raven, you got Mayhem and Morgan head. And so wait, okay, wait, so are you gonna be the mean one and I'm gonna be the good one, like always, or Actually, reversing? I'm the nice one, you're the mean one. Oh, okay. Don't lie to these people, don't, let, don't, <laughs> don't listen to her. Everyone saw me on my season, I was nice and sweet to everyone. You are Yes, I know. <laughs> Our first queen out the gate from RuPaul's Drag Race season 11 is the very fabulous Akiria Chanel Davenport. Ooh, yes, from okay. Dallas, Texas, bitch. All right, all right, all right. This looks like four wigs stacked on top of, on top of, on top of each other. And she's giving us in fact, a golden blonde. I love it. I'm loving it. I, someone came to work. Someone came, decided that they were going to come to work when they came to RuPaul's Drag Race season 11, and Akiria mm -hmm. is serving me all the things I need. This hair is everything. It is like the black Dolly Parton. Oh. She is giving me black oh Dolly my Parton. Oh gosh, that's a good way to say that. I'm loving that she is giving us volume and bigness everywhere, honey. These shoulders are giving us strength, honey. She's showing us these big, juicy melons, honey. I'm like, and the color blocking is great. I'm loving the, 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 the dark blue with the hot pink and also this, this vibrant orange. I'm like, this girl is really serving us a good strong look for the world to see her for the first time. So can I play devil's advocate for five seconds? Sure. I hate the shoes. I hate the length of the boot. I'm not loving the color of the boot. <laughs> and I feel like they are have a chunky heel. I feel like the look from the front is telling me a story in the back. <laughs> Just like your hair. Just like your hair. Uh, girl, don't even try it. You wear that ugly orange wig. Shut the up. This is ginger, actually. Thank you so much. But it's anyway, more, it's more Crayola than ginger. Well, that is how you did your makeup today. But ladies and gentlemen, I am in love with Akira's look. So it is a toot from me. I am giving this an absolute toot. Next up out of the gate, we have Ariel Versace. Oh. Is it Ariel or Ariel? I don't know. Ariel, I believe. It's whatever the. I say it is. I look. I love the Little Mermaid, so I'm saying Ariel. Yeah, as long as the this, is the spelling is correct on the check, it does not matter. Well, and I'm also saying is Versace, not Versace. Versace. Yeah. Versace. <laughs> so uh, Ariel's from Philadelphia, yes, and she is. I've uh, worked with her before. Really fabulous. As queen. have I. Um, I hate this look. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> well, I just don't know what's going on with the boobs. Like, I feel like the boobs are lumpy. Um, or like really kind of Well, they are, they're lady lumps. They're supposed to yes, be like bitch, that. Not that, like what is that shape of breast? Like that looks like a cantaloupe. I love the uh, the tights and I love the shoes, but I'm, I wish the hair was different. The wig is lovely. Loving the wig, the makeup, of course, her makeup is always stunning, I love it. Um, however, when we get down to the outfit, I'm not getting big, I'm not getting bold, I'm not getting wigged out like this. I'm like, the best part of it for me, of the whole outfit is the tights. Yeah, I see, I'm loving the tights. <laughs> and I honestly feel like that belt is the same ugly belt you had for your Girl, promo. Girl, what, what, what belt? I had two, You bitch. had two of those ugly belts. I had belts. two, the stylist put me in two belts and I knew I should have told that bitch no. I'm not, I'm not in love with the belt, so unfortunately. Maybe the stylist did that to her, we don't know. I do love your freckles, but it's a boot for me. All right, all right, it's definitely. It's a boot, bitch, it's a boot. boot. It's a boot, sorry. Love you though. Our next lady is Brooklyn Heights from Nashville, Tennessee. The look is sickening. I don't give a way anybody says, this is a shoot. This is how you uh, show the world who the hell you are. I don't give a 
I, bye. You can be mad about it if you want. Are you sleeping with her? I, I feel actually, like you might actually, be sleeping with her. Actually, you know what? If I had to Kai Kai with a drag queen, this is the girl I'm doing it with. Really? And you know she's the first uh, Canadian queen on RuPaul's I Drag I do. Race. And you know how, how much I do love Canadian men. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even yeah. though you can't get into the country anymore, that's really good. Um, I've been there more times than about... you have. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> So I'm loving this look. The bitch looks like she's about to be in the new X-Men movie. I'm loving everything about the color palette. I love the boots to death. She's giving me Glenn Close and I love the chunky earring. I'm loving it. It's an absolute shoot from me. We already know how you feel, so just shh. I don't know, no, don't shh me. It's shh. Shoot. It's a shoot. Miss Brooklyn, honey. Oh my God, I just can't. It's are just you, too good. Are you having a moment? It's too good. What, are you kidding me? Like. Yeah, she looks good. It's a shoot. Oh! Next bitch. Our next lady out the gate is Honey Davenport. Oh. They're from New York City. There's a lot of Davenports on this Apparently. season. Apparently. The hair is sculpted lovely. Oh yeah, the hair is beautiful. Yes. Loving the hair. The color, the pop of color is very lovely. Um, of course, you know I'm a fan of pink, so I'm loving the pink latex. But the whole skirt situation, I'm not there. I feel like it might be a little like too distracting. Yeah, it's the length of it. I think it's it's, it's not right. I'm not I'm not I'm not sold on it right now. See, I hate the boot and I hate the skirt. I would love to have seen like maybe an orange pump or a yellow pump. A pump. Show me this is cutting you off, sweetheart. Like this is not good for you. I don't like it. It's an absolute boot for me. The hair's a toot, but everything from the neck down. Makeup is gorgeous. Makeup yeah. is gorgeous. Hair is lovely. Outfit is not bad, it's just not, just not good. It's not bringing it all together. What would you change about this look? I would have changed um, everything. No, 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 no. <laughs> Looking at it, I would say that I would not have, um, I would have had sleeves. Right. I would have made it a whole latex dress with the sleeve. I love the length of it. I would have did a simple just belt, not the cage attached to it. Mm -hmm. um, and I would have went with a thigh high if we're gonna go, let's go big with, you know, like right. let's get a big boot on here. That that awkward length is, is just, it's just not working. And where's the jewelry? Where Where is the jewelry? There's an earring and there's is nails. There? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. It is a boot for me, unfortunately, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to go with a boot as well. Sorry, girl. Our next girl stepping up to get judged is the one and only Kahana Montrese from Las Vegas. Ooh, of the Montrese's? So is, is, is this Coco's daughter? This is Coco's daughter. Okay. Of the house of Montrese. I'm loving this look. The hair is beautiful. I love the coloring of the sleeves and the little uh, panty and bra set, but I'm not understanding what the crab legs are. What, that looks awkward to me a little bit. But I mean, it's stunning, but I don't know what it's supposed to be. There's no strength in the structure. It looks like it's crumbled, like it's been in the suitcase, like for, you know, a couple hours. I think she's stunning. I was like, but the, the distraction of the pink spikes, <laughs> or lack of spikes, <laughs> it's just not working for me at all. Um, I. I would like to see more on this. I feel like this could have been more. You're from Vegas, you are a Montrese, and you look at what Coco wears. She is big and lovely and loud. So I wanted to see more. Um, I'm still gonna give it a toot because it is well put together. I think she's beautiful. I, unfortunately, the, sh the construction of the, the spikes is not connecting with me. And that it's such a bold piece of the, the, the costume. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and say toot. Sorry. No, you're not. Our next lady is Mercedes Iman Diamond from Minneapolis. I can breathe again. I am so happy. This girl right here is right on point, just like Brooklyn was. This is how you wig out. This is how you go big and bold. I want you to come like a superstar. This girl, the fashion is on point. The color choices, the hair, the makeup. This is a Barbie doll. She is stunning. So I thought this was Mariah Balenciaga. Oh so, you, oh, so you're gonna be one of those queens. I'm not gonna be one of those queens. You're gonna be one of those You don't people. think she's serving you Mariah Balenciaga I a little bit. hate it when people compare, compare other queens to other queens. No. You know what, Kennedy, she don't look shut like up. No, She don't look like nobody. Shut up, Kennedy. Oh, okay, okay. It's my turn to talk. Well, you know, if you wanna compare, honey, you might as well be compared to the Loch Ness Monster then. 
I'm hung like the Loch Ness monster, though. Uh, are you though? Well, you know. <laughs> are you though? You know. No. I love this look too. I think the hair is stunning. I'm. I love the bone straight. Not a lot of girls can pull bone straight off, but she can. And this jacket is to die for. I feel like there might be something sexier underneath because I feel like it's a reveal. I don't like the pose though. I don't know what's going on with the leg. It looks like she's about to like spray the fire hydrant or something. Oh no, I love the pose. I think she realizes she knows her body. She knows her, her angle and that's the strength that she's given us right there where her hands on her hips and she's letting you know, big, I got this leg ready to kick the rest of the competition out of the game, honey. I'm loving it. This girl is stunning and I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my eye on her this season. Mercedes Iman Diamond, it's a toot for me. I'm loving the uh, Cerulean. I just watched Devil, Devil Wish Prada. Cerulean. Cerulean. Oh my gosh. Well, lady, you are a toot. Yes, toot. Our next girl stepping on up is the wonderful Nina West. Ooh, now this Columbus, is my girl. Columbus, Ohio in the house. This is my girl. Mm. I love me some Nina West. I do too. But this outfit is a boot. <laughs> Automatic, <laughs> out the gate boot. <laughs> Okay, can I tell you why? Please tell me because okay, I need to know. So I need the pants to be about three inches longer because I don't know if the flood is coming, um, but it looks like it is. Maybe it's snowing right now in Columbus and she doesn't want the bottom of the, but the still, pants to touch no, the ground. I mean, the, the, the fit of it is beautiful, but the red pumps with the blue and then the pink and the yellow and the purple, it's just, there's a lot going on. <laughs> I do not, under any circumstances, like the bolero. I hate the glove. And the boobs are drawn on way too high. What do you like? The hair is beautiful. The hair is stunning. If, I feel like a lot of the girls from the season have gotten their wigs from the same place. Um, uh! <laughs> but just from what I see, this is a no. This is a boot. This is a hail to the boot. This is like, this is a f***ed up boot. I'm sorry. It, it, it's a flip flop. Right. <laughs> it's a flip flop. It's a chonkla. You know, Nina, I love you to death, but this is absolutely, yeah, this is a complete flip flop. <laughs> I cannot. Girl. I cannot. I like the coat. Really? Yes. I like the background of the picture. <laughs> the background is cute. That is, that is so a great color. Yellow. Alrighty, we have coming now to get judged the one and only Plastique Tiara. <laughs> the most beautiful person I've ever laid eyes on in my entire life. In my entire life. Gore. I've never met her. Oh my God. Is she one of the Instagram queens that she, she, filters she, out her pictures? And then when we see them in person, they don't look the same? No, bitch. She doesn't, she does oh. not filter her pictures because she doesn't have to. God, this God. is what she I'm looks like. I'm sick of those girls. This look for me is everything. I love it. I think it's adorable. I'm getting a very flamenco-y gig from it. I'm getting a very, you know, like, okay. are you not? No, I'm not. You know she stoned those tights though, right? Did she? She had to have. She looks like Linda Evangelista. No? <laughs> Can't with you. She has pretty toes too. That's the real up part. Why are you in her feet? <laughs> well, because drag queens, Bitch, why are look you at, in her feet? Look at Raja's feet. You are gross. Look, look at Raja. No, bitch, don't. That's not gross. Some people have a foot fetish. I don't personally have a foot fetish. I, I'm not here for drag feet. I'm here for drag. But like Raja's feet. Raja could climb the side of a building barefoot and that's not true. fall. Like it would be. It's very like gargoyle tea. It is true. She yeah. does have some But this bitch feet. has. She's so pretty. She has pretty feet, and I adore that. I love the hair color. It's like a. A rose pink, maybe dusty um, rose. Yeah, I love it. Like the hair is great. She has a little, a little Ariana ponytail. Mm -hmm. Like you know, the girls love that. I having an issue with the shoe in this outfit. I'm loving the color scheme that she was going for, but I know in comparison to the rest of the girls in the cohesive look, this is not in the same ball game as the rest of them. I'm not seeing a pop of color. I'm not like a bold color. These are very just soft. Muted. It's like, mm. so is I'm, she. Not, I'm not getting the boldness from this look. Like the outfit is stunning. It's not color blocking. It's just completely blocked. <laughs> it's not right. It's a shoot for me. <laughs> I love this look. Plastic TR is a shoot, bitch. It's a shoot. Uh, uh, <laughs> that is so well put together. There's no way you can tell me that's a boot. It's so, it, like the thing is, it could be one little thing that ruins the whole look. And that shoe is not great with this. Especially with the theme. <laughs> I love it. I don't give a f 
What you say? I don't give a what you have to say either, and I don't give a fuck what anybody else has to say. I said it. it's not good. Boop. Our next lady is Raja D. O'Hara. Mm. Asia O'Hara related? Eureka O'Hara related? Possibly. There's a lot. These dynasties, honey. The mm. Davenports and the uh, O'Haras. And she's also and from the Davenport. Millers. And the Millers. <laughs> and McMichael. <laughs> Oh, I love this look. I think it's so fabulous. I love the shoe so very much. And thank you again for wearing open toes. She got pretty feet. I like that. She got pretty they, feet. The, the, okay, fine. Okay, if you want to keep going on this foot fetish that I never knew that you had, uh, let's look at the feet. I don't have the a shoes foot are sickening for one. Yeah. And the bitch done put some oil on her feet. She not ashy. I love it. I love it. She is greased up. This is a black girl of my heart. Because you know what? There be some dry bitches out there sometimes. <laughs> I go gonna say who? But there be some dry bitches. Even her hands is oily too. <laughs> Just moist. Like she went and got in the feet and then she was, <laughs> and then she used the extra on her hands and was like, look, bitch. I love it. She has big eyes. Which She's I giving love. me Diana Ross here. I I'm you know, I, I am I am a big eye girl too, and she has big juicy eyes. I love it. She is giving me Diva right here, the orange and the purple and the wig and that earring is stupid, bitch. Yeah, I'm loving Ooh, that the earring. earring. Is cute. I like an earring. I like a statement piece. Look at that. I mean, you could do your makeup in that earring. I love that. She looks amazing. The color choices are rad for her. It's a toot from me. It is a definite toot for me. All right. I'm gonna fix are, you, my, are you fake tits? I gotta you? fix my titty, bitch. How dense is your breast <laughs> tissue? <laughs> Our next lady is the amazing Scarlet Envy from New York City. What is this Glamazon? <laughs> this bitch. is it, bitch. I cannot. This is how you go bold. This is how you wig, honey. This is it. I am never a fan of those gloves with the nails, but... In this case, I'm gonna give it an exception and just say, you know what, I'm fine with it because the whole outfit is stunning. This girl came and said, I'm gonna give you Glamazon. She said, I'm gonna have this dress. It is gonna be the perfect length, just kissing the ground. I'm gonna give you color and not just any kind of colors, bold colors. And I'm gonna give you some wave, a wavy wig, but not this, you know, the Marcel that everybody wants to do. Mm -hmm. this, this is give you va 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 voom. I don't know if this is her natural eye color, but it is piercing into my soul. It is matching the blue in her dress. The lip color is perfect. Her makeup is stunning. This feels like it's a kind of real life version of Jessica Rabbit almost. It is shape, it is. The body. It is Ooh. shape, the shape sells it. But it's just the pose and everything about this is flawless, down to the stones on the dress, down to, I mean, everything is fantastic. This is a perfect look. Yeah. Perfect. So it's an absolute, it's a shoot. It has to be a shoot. <sighs> like, are you thinking toot or shoot? Because that's I, the only thing you can decide between. This is a shoot, I'm making the decision for you. No, this you're not. A you, know, you don't get to make my decision. <laughs> I'm my own woman, I'm my own man. So. So it's a shoot. It's a toot. It's a two. She's good. She's good. I like her, but I can't give her no shoot. I can't give her no shoot. Because you don't want to give anybody a uh, shoot over. I, no, Brooklyn. I'm just not going to pass them out like, like Tic Tacs. I can't. Our next girl is Sugar Cane from New York City. Oh, another New York girl. Mm -hmm. See, I always feel like the New York girls like kill. kill I always feel like it's too many of them. Well, because there's no more girls in California. <laughs> you got on. <laughs> I was the last of the Mohicans. <laughs> yes, girl. <laughs> so, oh my God. Sugar Cane. You ain't gonna say that? No, I'm gonna go ahead and let you say something. You gonna let me, I'll start? Okay, I'll start, I'll start, I'll start. I'll start. Um, it's a boot, 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 it's a boot. Okay, so I know Sugar Cane. Um, I do too, I do too. girl, originally. I love her. Lives in New York. Um, I love the, from the neck up is flawless. But I am so confused on what is going on with everything else. The yellow ends, and it looks like it's a leotard almost, with something maybe buttoned around it. I don't like it. I hate the shoes so much. This is the worst shoe I've seen in the whole 
uh, fashion photo review <laughs> like ever. <laughs> I don't know what is going on and why there's a fraggle stuck to each side of her leg. I don't like it. I do like the look. Her, her makeup is stunning. She's a lovely queen. Mm -hmm. um, I'll just deconstruct the, the outfit to help it out. So first thing I'm doing is I'm taking off the earrings. And then, I would keep the earrings. See, no, I'm taking off the earrings. Right, okay. And then I'm taking off the tights. And then I'm gonna also take off, I'm gonna take off- um, Everything. <laughs> I'm gonna take off the blue skirt underneath mm -hmm. and keep just the pink one. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that would help out the outfit a lot more. I need more here. I need, if she, if she has to keep that on, where's the volume in it? I'm not gonna say it's an awful look, but I'm also not gonna say that it's a complete great look. So, this is gonna be a boot. It's a flip flop, boot flop. Our next gal that we're gonna take a look at is the one and only Silky Nutmeg Ganache from Chicago. Now, I love this girl. I love that she's a big girl wearing a midriff. I love it. I think it's fabulous. Um, I love the pose. The hair is everything. The hair is giving me everything I need. Every ball, and y'all yeah, know that you are a big fan of balls, but it is not big enough. It's not big enough. All the other girls have slayed with volume and, and fabric, and I, this is just not um, enough for me. I'm there, but I'm not quite there. Right. I'm there, but I'm not quite here. I like the look. I do like the look. Her makeup is lovely. Uh, as a big girl, I love that she's embracing her body. I just wish it, uh, the skirt fit a little bit better. Okay. But other than that, I, I like it a lot, actually. So I'm gonna give it a two. It's a boot for me. Yeah? I like it, but it's not enough. It's not, look at all you these other more? girls. I want, want more. more, I need more. Okay. Our next girl is Soju from Chicago. Ooh, another Chicago queen. Yes. So this look. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but it looks. I don't know what's going on, but it looks like she cut Elmo's arms off. <laughs> like she shaved Elmo's arms and decided to wear them. It, they remind me of those things that they're in the car wash, like the car wash. Oh my god. Um, love the hair. Think it's beautiful, but everything else. Not enough. It's a leotard on RuPaul's Drag Race. Shocking. Now I know I had one. <laughs> I know I had Round one on All Stars, but bitch, it was stoned out of its entire mind. You know, neck up. I l I'm loving the look. Stunning queen. Neck down. You know, maybe we should rethink some stuff. The lower portion. The cut of it is absolutely wrong. It needs to be more of a French a, cut. A French cut. Yeah. You know, it, it needs to go higher up on the hip to give her more legs. She, okay. You can tell she's not a tall queen, and this is just chopping her up a lot, and it's making her look really boxy and shorty. Now, the look is not bad. It just needed to be tweaked out a little bit. But um, I'll go ahead and shoot this. I need more of everything. So it's a boot for me. Our next lady is Evie Oddly. Ooh. Yeah, from Denver, Colorado. All right. Come on, Denver. Yeah. Our second Denver queen ever. I am loving this look because this girl knows her body, obviously. She went with this bold shoe that no one else has worn, and she put the color of the shoe not only in her eye makeup, but also in her nail color. And that's what made me say, oh, I'm liking this girl. Her legs look like they're super long. And I love this. I don't like the arms. I don't understand what this fur on the arm thing is, what's going on here. Mm -hmm. I just don't but like that. But the kids that. like it. But you know what? This is an absolute toot for me. We have another two. Yes. Yeah. Good job. Our last girl and uh, one of my favorite sisters from season 10 and now season 11 is Vanessa Vanji Mateo. She originally a Florida girl, but now she's here in LA. I am excited to see Vanji back on RuPaul's Drag Race because we only saw a little bit of what she gave. Her Bloody Mary tribute of just saying her name three times made her appear on the next season of Drag Race. So if you get kicked off on season 11, whoever goes home first, just say your name three times. Yeah, yeah, she's a bruja. She's spoken into existence. I am gonna say, you know what? My sis has been doing a little glow up. Mm -hmm. um, I'm loving the fashions. Um, however, <laughs> however, sis, don't get mad at me. We still gonna go have sushis. Look, I, the wig, I'm not, I'm not down for the wig. I can't, 
I can't co-sign on this wig. I get it, we all want the sculpted, lovely Marcel wave, but not every goddamn time. Jesus, I just, and with the hair color, with this outfit, absolutely no. It's, it's just not pulling everything together for me. I think she needed to be in either a platinum or she needed to be in a darker wig color, but that in between honey Shaking. blonde, it, it's not working for me right now with this outfit. As far as the dress, I'm loving the drama of it all. She's given us all of the fabrics and she's still giving us a little skin as well, but that shoe is a very bold choice. <laughs> that shoe is not the shoe for this, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot do it. I can't get down with this shoe. I love this look. I think this look is super like old Hollywood mixed with a splash of new fashion. I love like, I love how long it is and just, you can tell the train on this is long as fuck. I hate the hair, I hate the color of the hair mm -hmm. because it just bl is blending in with her it's, makeup. It's, it's, it's so washed out, it's yeah. washing her out completely. Earring is not enough, the shoe is definitely, not, I know. I hate the shoe because it's, I don't like the I don't lace. like the lace of the shoe. <laughs> but I still have to give it a two because it is a beautiful costume piece. I, you know, I'm not gonna just give her a toot because she's my friend, but I'm gonna give her a toot because the outfit is lovely. However, bitch, don't wear that wig again. Yeah. <laughs> toot! Trend, Trend alert. alert! Color blocking. Ooh, vibrant. Mmm, bold. Ooh, brassy. <laughs> brassy, that's a good one. Yeah, I, like, I that. like that. You know what? <laughs> it's, it's the rainbow. Ooh, it matches but don't match. Oh, oh, you are so smart sometimes. I am, I am. <laughs> Loving it. Blocks of beauty. No <laughs> pattern. No wrinkles. No <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> I can hardly blink. Our, Our top, top two, two of the week, week is Scarlet Envy. It, no, bitch, it's Brooklyn. No, it's not. It's Scarlet Envy. Okay, look, it's gonna be a tie this week. Two bitches look sickening. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, they all look sickening. But these are our two top two yes. of the week. Brooklyn and also Miss Scarlet. Yes. It's like classy and superhero. Kind of mixed. I love that. I like them. It looks good. It looks good on her. Mm -hmm. Good choice, ladies. Make sure you follow all these lovely ladies on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all kinds of stuff. Send them nudes. Send them nudes. And also me. Not me. Send them to her, she'll forward them to me. I, I have done that before. Yes, she We has. have done that before. Yes. Well, and make what are friends for? Sharing nudes. I had so much fun with you today. I did not. Make sure you guys continue to watch RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars every Friday on VH1. Mm-hmm. So you can find out when the new season of RuPaul's Drag Race goes start. It's gonna be soon. Season 11. 11. Ooh, I'm excited. Yeah. If I had nipples, they'd be standing up. Yeah, with those dense breasts. <laughs> <laughs> I love like knocking on melons. Uh, they're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's juicy. For fans outside of the United States, make sure you click the link below to see if RuPaul's Drag Race Season 11 is available in your territory on, on Wild WoW Presents, Presents Plus. Plus. I love you. Love you. Make sure you guys subscribe to Wow Present. Sabu is a boo.